Hi, I'm Bernie Slaven and you're watching Butler Sports TV. So there was a big game at Green Lane last night as second place Redcar Athletic faced fourth place Cleetamore Celtic. A Redcar led 1-0 at the break with the first half goal from Michael Woodhouse. And um, Celtic then came out for the second half here looking to get back into the game. And they were given a boost after five minutes when they were awarded a penalty for an apparent handball offence in the penalty area. Redcar obviously uh, weren't happy with the decision but the referee um, gave a penalty and it was uh, number nine there, Lee Dunn, who stepped up to take the penalty and get the chance there to put Celtic level. And he easily beats goalkeeper Matthew Berry there to make it 1 1. It's a really good penalty there from Dunn. He sent the keeper the wrong way. A nice, confident left footed penalty there into the uh, bottom right hand corner of the net, and it was all square. And there's the Redica goalkeeper Matthew Berry, who of course played really well in the cup recently against Richmond. Redcar felt a little bit hard done by, so um, inevitably they sort of put some pressure on the Celtic defence there. And it was a really good save there from the Celtic goalkeeper, Conin, um, Connor McAlevey there, pushed the ball around the post. Um, Celtic had a chance to get themselves in front as well. It was a ball across the box there, which wasn't quite... Um, turn towards the goal and when the cross comes back in it was a header there from Dunn which this time goes over the top and it remained at 1-1. Another good chance for Redco as we moved into the last 20 minutes it was Andrew Jennings there with a the header he's a top scorer this season but he couldn't find a net on this occasion heading just over the top as it remained 1-1. And Redcar had another opportunity with a free kick, which was well defended there by the Celtic defence. They've had a tough week, Celtic. Um, there was away at Sunderland West End on Monday evening. Um, they were all in a free kick here with 10 minutes to go, and this actually proved to be the winning goal. Uh, the, the free kick was um, was hit high towards the penalty area. The initial header there was, was flicked on. It fell to the substitute, Darren Little. His first effort came back off the post, but he was first to react to touching the rebound there. And the long trip for Celtic was worthwhile there as they took a 2-1 lead late in the game. It was actually a, a well-worked free kick there. It was a really good header initially. It was a good uh, run into the box there from the substitute and if, after the first ever hits the post he reacts quickly and just beats the defender to the ball to poke it in to give Celtic what turned out to be all three points there and you know Redco were a bit down, feeling a bit down in the dumps there. But they were helped on in the last couple of minutes there when the referee um, produced a second yellow card for the goal scorer done. So he was sent off there for dissent it was. And um, Celtic had to see out the last few minutes um, with just 10 men. Inevitably it led to some late pressure from Redcar. There's a header there from Jennings again which again just went off the target. Um, and then in the final few minutes it was a, a corner there for Redcar and again it was well defended by the Celtic defence and the goalkeeper there was able to, to hold the ball there and I say the Celtic defenders there put in their, putting their bodies on the line for the calls and in the end it finished that green lane Redcar Athletic 1, Cleetamore Celtic 2 so it was fourth place Celtic then who left with the points and of course these two teams could meet again um, in the League Cup final because of course Cleetamore Celtic play Stockton on Saturday. For Redcar Athletic then they've got uh, another Cup semi-final to come as well on Saturday but it's finished here Redcar Athletic 1, Cleetamore Celtic 2.